currency woes in India too, where the government has struggled to defend the rupee. Non-essential import restrictions announced this week have left businesses unhappy and there are fears of protectionist policies being put into place. The rupee is now the worst performing currency in Asia, despite government efforts to turn the tide. India is often referred to as the world's fastest growing large economy. But its currency has hit a series of record lows versus the dollar over the past few months. That weakness in the currency has coincided with rising global oil prices, compounding the pain. All of this means that the current account deficit has widened. It's now at 2.4% of gross domestic product. So far, growth has held up. Gross domestic product grew 8.2% from April to June, and that's its fastest rise in two years. But there are worries that it may take a hit too. The finance minister in India is Aaron Jaitley. He's blamed the depreciation of the rupee on global factors, including the US-China trade war. Well, joining us now from Glasgow is Gregor Irwin. Gregor's uh, chief economist at Global Council. Gregor, good to have you with us again on Counting the Cost. What is going on at the moment with, uh, with India's economy? What are you advising clients? Well, um, India is suffering from uh, a currency crisis uh, at the moment. Um, the rupee has fallen by 12%. Uh, that's quite significant. Um, there are a few factors that are contributing to that. The price of oil has gone up for a country like India, which imports much of its energy, um, that pushes up uh, the import bill. On the export side, I suppose there are concerns about the global environment for trade, US protectionism. Uh, but probably above all, um, there are concerns about uh, divergence in global monetary conditions, uh, US interest rates rising, that's exposed vulnerabilities in quite a few countries, Argentina, Turkey, also We've seen uh, currencies fall across Asia, and um, India has not been immune to that, and that's probably why the currency is under pressure, and that's that's a that's a concern for the government. You mentioned one of the factors is the, is the the price of uh, of fuel. Uh, India buying oil, of course, in 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 dollars, and as the rupee falls, oil just gets more and more expensive. Well, exactly, and and it accounts for quite a, a large part of the 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 the, the, the bill for. Average Indians, um, uh, the, the price of energy. So it, it really does squeeze uh, living standards, uh, and, and it's a political concern, uh, as I've suggested. And, and there's not a whole lot that the, the Indian uh, uh, economy ministry, the finance ministry, the government uh, can do uh, about that other than uh, try and uh, address other factors that are helping to put downward pressure. On the, the rin, on the rupee, so factors such as raising interest rates, that, that's a move in the right direction by the Reserve Bank. You mentioned Turkey. On Thursday, Turkey announced a, a new economic plan, which has, well, it's failed to impress, really. It, it, it cut its growth forecast in that economic plan. Is, is India going to be forced to follow suit? Well, um, I mean, Turkey actually uh, today is, is, is trying to um, deal uh, with um, uh, concerns that, it, that its economic plan ha has been too vague, that its response to what is a much more significant um, uh, currency crisis facing uh, Turkey is, has, has been inadequate, that the, the Turkish lira has fallen something like 40 percent over the course uh, of, of, of this year. Uh, the country has a new finance uh, minister. It turns out it's the president's uh, son-in-law. Uh, that that has arguably damaged credibility of uh, economic policy making in Turkey. And, and the new finance minister was trying to flesh out um, uh, Turkey's policy uh, response. I India is not quite in the same situation uh, as Turkey. Turkey has a much larger current account deficit. Um, Inflation is much higher in uh, Turkey, that th there are greater concerns about the stability and sustainability of growth uh, in Turkey. And um, uh, while the Indian policy response so far um, arguably has not been adequate, more will, will be required, uh, and, and the direction of policy in India is questionable with uh, import curbs, uh, Turkey has a bigger challenge in convincing markets that actually the substance behind the headlines of the economic plan that the finance minister is, is fleshing out today. Gregor, really good to talk to you on Counting the Cost. Many thanks indeed for being with us. You're very welcome.